Hello everyone, we are on Google Maps today, and well, I'm going to show you, this is the Magnet line, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to draw right now, so we'll do the Magnet line in blue. So the Maginot line was a line of defenses that was to, um, to, um, <clears throat> pretty much make the Germans not want to invade France in between World War One and World War Two. And because the uh, French were kind of short on manpower, they were hoping they could do this. So here was the strong line defenses of the Maginot line. It was basically a huge line of steel bunkers um, and uh, mines, anti-tank traps, barbed wire, and um, it would um, it would destroy any attack that came from the Germans. But the thing is, it was a little, it was weaker through Belgium. A lot weaker through Belgium. It had, cause, um, on the border, cause, uh, right about right over here is the Ardennes. So let me actually do that in green. Right here is the Ardennes forest. About right here is the Ardennes. It was basically like a force, and the French thought that um, the French thought that they, uh, the Germans couldn't take their armored vehicles through, since it's like a force, it's like an obstacle. But uh, really, the bl um, the Blitzkrieg, which was like um, artillery and Stukas, and yeah, the Blitzkrieg through the Ardennes forest right here straight through here and right through there way to Paris but they also they uh, the one here and they flanked the Magino line they just flanked it like that they pushed the Ardennes and went through there they went through here and then they just went on to France then went on Dunker and yeah so um, part, they did also be a little bit over here as well and the Maginot Line did hold off very well. But that's basically how the uh, French lost the war. Because they thought they'd go right through here. But no. They went right through Belgium. Right through Belgium. So let's just erase all this. So did the so this is the main question for the video. Did the Magino line serve its purpose? Well, yes and no. Because its purpose was to deter detour detour a um, a German attack. And it did that very well. I mean very well. But in the long run, it um, it didn't end up working for them. Cause Germans just used the Blitzkrieg and flanked them. And so my question is, did it serve its purpose? Well, in the end, they did attack it head on. Yes, it did serve its purpose very well, but. In the long run, the Blitzkrieg just outflanked it, came through the Ardennes, and that's us. The, the Magna Line was basically the only hope of defending France, and once they got through that, it was just it, man. It was over for the, um, <coughs> it was over for the French at that point. So, guys, it was, did it serve its purpose as the final? Final question. Yes, it did, but um, but in the long run, the Germans just outflanked it through the Iron Dems. like the SS, and then it became this SS, <laughs> and then they just rolled to Paris, outflanked these. And basically took all of Paris, and then they, then basically this, was it, there. 
that's where um, the French actually kind of held off. Uh, that was the Dunkirk where the British evacuated. We'll put them in yellow. The British evacuated to England. So in the long run, it did not serve its purpose because the Germans just flanked it. So it was actually a good concept, but in the end, it did not work out for the French. Because they were still thinking of old World War I tanks and how the old World War, I, World War I techniques and how they um, <coughs> and how they and how um, tanks worked back then. Because tanks could have gone through that force room just put a little bit of infantry. They thought, oh, we could hold off against infantry, but no, the Germans just sent it through. They were just thinking of, um, of World War I tactics. So it did not work out for them. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit more understanding of how the Maginot Line actually failed. Here's a like and subscribe for more history videos.